Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. It is time for Weekly Wix and Wax. Now, yes, I know, I said I was gonna upload them every Sunday night. Got super, super busy. My week has been insane. I finally got a chance to sit down and film. So, this will be going up on Friday versus Sunday, and then we're just gonna be playing catch up because I don't really have that much, honestly, with this little over a week and a half. And not because it wasn't a good week, just because I wasn't home a lot. And when I was, scents were lasting more than a day. So I have some candles, I have some body care, some skin care, and of course, some Scentsy, a little bit of vendor wax. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna change it up a little bit and we are going to start with the skincare and body care. The first product that I finished is from Biosance. This is their Squalane Plus Caffeine Toning Body Cream. Finished this up. This was nice. It was just like a basic body cream. I don't really notice anything special about it like caffeine and toning. It wasn't scented. This is the unscented version. I believe they have like a citrusy version, but it was nice. I wouldn't repurchase this, but it was okay. It was fine. Now, this I love. This is the Biosense Squalane and Probiotic Gel Moisturizer. This stuff is incredible, especially for the warmer months. I actually do have a backup now. I use this as my morning moisturizer before sunscreen, and I just really like the way that it feels on my skin. It's lightweight, but it's hydrating enough and with a little bit of moisturization from my sunscreen, it's exactly what I need throughout the day. And then this, I would also repurchase. I finished them at the same time, which is the Sunday Riley Ice Cream, which is a ceramide moisturizing cream. It's made with coconut water, so it has a coconut fragrance, but it's not fragranced itself. Finish this up. I love Sunday Riley products. Her good jeans literally has changed my skin, but this is really nice. And I did order a backup during the Sephora sale. So I have another one of these, but I really like the ice cream at night. I have very dehydrated skin, but I also get a lot of acne from being super active and wearing glasses all the time. Just happens with the sweat, but I really, really like it. Really happy with the results and I would repurchase it. This is a body wash from Scentsy in aloe water and cucumber. And it's funny, and I know a lot of people say that they experience this too. When you're using a home fragrance for your body, kind of throws you off. And I agree. I love aloe water and cucumber in my home. That also counts as like cleaner, like cleaning the counters. And I personally... Don't mind using a counter clean or like a, ba well, not as much bathroom cleaner, but counter clean versus like a body wash in the scent I love for the home because you're fragrancing your home. And when you use counter clean, it scents your home. So to me, it's kind of like the same way. Like when I spray my counters, I walk into the kitchen and it smells like aloe water and cucumber. And I love that. But I don't want my body to smell like aloe water and cucumber, if that makes any sense. Let me know if you understand where I'm coming from with that. But yeah, I just, I don't like it for my body. I finished it up, it was a nice body wash. Nothing super like unique about it. It was just like a nice scented body wash. So if there's a Scentsy scent that you love, get it in body wash. But for me personally, I'm sticking to aloe water and cucumber for my home products. Right, let's move on to candles. This, it's the same candle, I just have two different packagings. Lakeside Morning. I love. The notes read crisp autumn air, which is, is this say that on both of them? Yeah. White driftwood and a hint of green apple. This is an all year long fragrance. I actually have to look next time I'm in a store to see if it says that, if it says autumn air like in the spring scent, but this is beautiful. So with, I find Bath and Butterworks candles can give me throw if I have two of them burning in an open space. So I have one in my living room and one in either my dining room or my kitchen because they're connected. And I can kind of get circulation of scent throughout those areas. And when I was burning this, it was so good. It burned, both of them burned down too, all the way. I had really great results with this candle. It's so great. It's crisp apple. 
fresh outdoor air. It is beautiful. A little bit of that driftwood. Sure, a little bit of a woodsiness, but I love this candle. I will always repurchase it. Wallflower bulbs, all the things. Love this scent. This guy I was burning in my bedroom. I was really impressed. Coffee and whiskey. It was a good Bath & Body Works candle week. Bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, and a hint of coffee. Even though this is a coffee scent, it just smelled really great in my bedroom. It smelled warm and cozy. And today, it's 38 degrees outside. So definitely a change in the weather from like being 80. And I don't know, with these colder nights, lighting this candle, watching a documentary, or like a suspenseful movie, or catching up on YouTube, it's so cozy, it's warm, you get a little bit of that alcohol note from the whiskey, the warmth of a, the vanilla and coffee. Really, really like this one. My cats are going crazy, but yeah, really enjoy this one. Would repurchase, and it was actually a really good burn. I'm trying to burn through my older Halloween Kringle candles whenever I have just time, and this one is in a Wolf's Bane. I don't know the description, but... It was very like fresh floral, like a very white floral with a hint of sweetness. I enjoyed it. I don't think I would repurchase it. Actually, all the Kringles, I would not repurchase them. I'm going to talk about. But yeah, this was okay. It was just like a bright floral. It was very strong though. So it threw like a beast or like a wolf. I finished two of the three Easter collection candles. I finished this one in Marshmallow Chicks. Marshmallow, smooth vanilla, lemon, sugar crystals, and creamy butter. I had this one in my bedroom, and then I switched it to my kitchen. And both great throw, just smelled like a lemon bakery. Nothing like so unique or special that I need to repurchase it. It was nice. It was a pleasant candle. I find with Kringle coming out with so many candles, and I'm really finding the scents that I love. I want to stock up on those that I love and not just buy every single thing that comes out. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm more into what I love. So, and I like, it was just okay. Same with this one, jelly beans. I actually gifted the, I burned chocolate bunnies twice, gifted it. Chocolate candles, just not for me. Except for sinful. <laughs> it's incredible. Blood orange, pomegranate, cassis, bergamot, acai berry, and orange. It just smelled like a sweet fruity scent. I am going to clean out this jars, both of the jars and save them to decorate for Easter next year. Put like a tea light in there, turn it backwards or something, maybe like a little vase, especially this one, a little vase. Yeah, I'm definitely cleaning those out and putting them in my Easter container for next year because I loved the packaging. But this was just a very fruity fragrance. Nothing too, nothing too out of the ordinary there. Um, before we dive into vendor wax, I finished two scent shots from Candles by Victoria. I have a Scentsy warmer and a hot plate warmer in my kitchen. I don't use them at both at the same time. I just alternate depending on what I'm melting. So for like Candles by Victoria, Vendor Wax, I'll use in the hot plate warmer. Scentsy, I'll use in the Scentsy warmer. And uh, Candles by Victoria, I've said before, I'll say again, you pop this in your warmer three days, 24 seven, strong, incredible. She just had a sale for 10% off. I placed an order for 75 cent shots and then I came back and placed an order for candles. So there will be two hauls because it's going to be a very long haul coming probably next week depending on when I get those orders. But yeah, love candles by Victoria. I actually just saw a, I'll, I'll talk about it in my video, but I've been shopping with her for over 12 years. I have to see exactly when I first purchased from her, but at least 12 years. Crazy. All right. This one is Strawberry Cookies. It is not my favorite. I like her strawberry other scents better. Strawberry Jam, Strawberry Danish. This smells more like those strawberry candies. You know the hard strawberry candies that look like a strawberry on the outside? Like the paper? That's kind of what this smelled like with the tiniest hint of a bakery note, like the smallest hint of a baked note. So it was okay. I would not repurchase it. This one though, and I'm kicking myself because I made a mental note to order this in a big candle when I placed an order and I didn't. Raspberry Coconut Muffin. 
Mm, there we go. Raspberry coconut muffin. This is incredible. This is the epitome of like summer bakery or spring bakery. It smells like a yellow or a white cake. To me, it's a yellow cake because it is so moist and rich with like a raspberry frosting and then rolled in coconut, like shredded coconut, almost like a snowball. So good, so fantastic. And that's the kind of bakery you want in the spring and summer. Like I don't want those heavy pumpkins or cinnamons or rich decadent bakery, but I still want bakery. I still want my house to smell like something is delicious being made in the oven. And raspberry coconut muffin is totally that. If you place an order for Candles by Victoria and you need a bakery recommendation for this time of year, raspberry coconut muffin, incredible. All right, next we're gonna dive into the vendor wax. Most of it was flops, but I'm just working through my vendor wax. I have from the bathing garden and also, Candles by Victoria is not a vendor. Like, yeah, she is technically a vendor. She's a small business, but she doesn't follow restocks. She doesn't do like limited time. She doesn't do pre-orders. Like you can order any time, any day of the week, any scent in her whole catalog, spring, winter, fall, summer, candles, wax, anything, everything poured to order, family owned business. She doesn't go with the trends. She doesn't have like a million different blends. She has over a thousand fragrances, but they're fragrances that she created herself. They're not customer creations. I mean, some, some of them are. Some of them are customer created scents, but it's not like her, a lot of people, like a lot of other vendors, like request what you want me to make. And they do. You can request or make anything you want anytime. She has create a scent options on her website. You can do anytime, which I just love. Anyway, this is from the bathing garden, sugar, vanilla waffle comb. I could barely smell this. I did this in my office. I got nothing from it. This is from Better Homes and Gardens, Meyer Lemon and Basil. I was gifted a bunch of Better Homes and Gardens clams and I'm just trying to work through them. Walmart wax is just not for me. For one, you should see when I try to take this out of the warmer using the freezer method, crazy. Like, it like separates in the middle. Like if it's like hard wax, it typically like when you put wax in, a, in the freezer, like the outside separates, you can just pop it out. It's like the middle separates and it like comes out in pieces and you have to like, it's a mess. A mess, let me tell you. But this was a very bright lemon kitchen scent with a hint of like a greenness. It was nice, but I wouldn't repurchase it. From Super Tarts, I did a bam bag of mouse ears and this is lemonade and lollipops. Really nice, bright citrusy lemon, but it really didn't last long. Snow Fairy. Cream soda and pink sugar from L3. I did not care for this. This was like a sweet candy scent. Peony Blush Suede Palo Santo Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. This was okay. I love Peony Blush Suede from Joe Malone, but it did not smell like that. Twisted Peppermint Vanilla Butter Fudge Christ Krispies from L3. I did this sample in my bathroom. It was just like a peppermint candy scent. This was so disappointing. This is a trig tart from L3 in Blackberry. And I actually cut the sections into twos, like two little trigs. And then I did a scoop of pretzel. In my office, no windows, no air. Like there's windows, but they weren't open. No air condition on and pretzel. And this in scoop, literally nothing. I walked in there, nothing. So. It is what it is. Um, let's see. The rest are from Fantasy Wax. Well, these ones are from Fantasy Wax. Peach, Andrea gifted me this, and this is incredible. This is fresh peach and zucchini bread. This is like the richest peach jam that's like still got the skin on it because it's so fresh with rich zucchini bread. I love that. And I think it's part of her Mario collection. I will repurchase that if it comes out. This is Oogie Boogie. This sold out like lightning fast, I remember. Pistachio pudding cake and sweet bakery dough. I popped this in my warmer right before bed in my bedroom. Just to have like a sweet, delicious pistachio bakery like while I was sleeping and waking up in the middle of the night. And 
getting ready in the morning and it was really nice. It was a very like warm, creamy pistachio. And then second task, salty sea air and fizzy pop. I deep cleaned the bathroom and then I popped this in. Pretty good. So good. So good. This was like a bright, fizzy, salt, well, fizzy, salty sea air. Just like very clean and bright. Love it. And I also have a clam from Super Tarts in Sharknado, which is her Jaws, which is fresh air, sea salt, seagrass, plum, and pear. And Sharknado is ocean rain and peppermint. This was good for about four hours. I did two clams in a hot plate in my kitchen, two clams in a hot plate in my bathroom, two clams in a hot plate in my dining room. And like I said, it lasted like four or five hours and then it was completely gone. But when it was in there, it was great. I changed the wallflower in my entryway to Rose and Lychee from Bath and Body Works. I talked about this candle in my last uh, weekly Wix and Wax video. Love this. Wild Rose, Sugared Lychee, and Delicate Raspberries. This is a sweet candied rose. If you don't love rose fragrances, I think you would still really like this. This was really yummy. All right, let's dive into the, the Scentsy. Wow. Wow. Apple Teeny Splash. I talked a little bit about this in my Scentsy haul. Mm. Green apple, noshi pear, and a huge splash of simple syrup. And that, my friends, oh. Typically, like, simple syrup or, like, sugar just adds sweetness. This, it was so strong, for one. So strong. I can't even, I can't even smell it. It made me sick. I had to turn, like, it was so sugary that, like, is that what people smell when they say, like, bakery scents are, like, cloying because they're so sweet? It was so simple, sugary, sweet that... I honestly had to, I, I couldn't even be in my bedroom and it just went on and on and on. I'm like, maybe it'll change. Maybe it'll change. No. Turned it off, sat the whole night, opened the windows, aired out the space, closed it the next day, turned it on. It was just as strong. I know I could have just changed it, but I just wanted to see it lasted and lasted and lasted. And I just, I was like, no, I cannot, cannot do that set. But I'm so happy that there's scents that I just do not like at all because I tend to like a lot. I like I like fresh, I like fruity, I like floral, I like bakery, I like cologne, I like perfume. Like I like a lot of scents. So it's like my collection can't get that big. I need to be more picky. Like I really like this. I really like this. But when you find one you really don't like, that's awesome because I'm like, good. I know never ever 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 to have Apple Teeny Splash back in my collection. It's done. I've tried it. I do not like it. End of story. All the rest I really liked. By the Sea. Always love. This is so good. This is fresh, fruity, uh, aquatic, watery. I need to do like a comparison of like Make a Splash, Shoreline Drive, By the Sea, all the like watery scents, Orchard by the Sea. I enjoy this so much. This is just so fresh and sweet and fruity, delicious, watery. We'll always buy it. Always, always, always. Aloe water and cucumber. Easily top five for Scentsy for me. When is it coming in a brick? Beautiful. Aloe water, cucumber, or is it aloe cucumber water? One of those. Aloe water, cucumber peel, palm frond, and pineapple. Pineapple nectar. So good. So fruity, lasts for days, obsessed, will never, ever, 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 ever be without aloe water and cucumber. It is my favorite. Apple press. I did this in my office during the same time that I did Apple Teeny Splash. This is way better. This is apple with a hint of rose, and I believe there's pear too. So good. A little bit more warm apple but not like apple cinnamon. Just like a very warm cook stewed apple. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. I love it. I still like my Johnny Appleseed better. I did, and this wasn't the best. I was really hoping for more. I did a combo in my warmers here on a day it was really hot. Sugared strawberry, 
and lemon sorbet. I did one cube to one cube in the same warmer. I love sugar strawberry. Lemon sorbet was new to me. I was expecting it to be like a very vibrant and bright sugary strawberry lemonade, like the strawberry frosted lemonade from Chick-fil-A. If you haven't had that, run to Chick-fil-A, ask for a frosted lemonade, add strawberry puree, chef's kiss, delicious. But this combo I wish was a little stronger. So maybe I'll just try it in my bedroom next time because I did it in my open space and it just wasn't super strong. This surprised me. Pink coconut. Mm. I know Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom really likes this scent too. I don't think I'll add it to my club, but this is really pretty. There's a pink clay note in there, coconut and raspberry. And that pink clay, when you put this in the warmer, just really intensifies. And you're just left with this really interesting smell in the air. I did this in my open, con my open area. It's not an open concept, open area. This is really good, really yummy. I, I I could melt this again, but again, I don't need it in my club. It's just very unique and different. Like I had someone come over to pick up their Scentsy order and she was like, what do you have melting in here? And I told her pink coconut and she goes, wow, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. It's really different. And in here right now, I have Sugar Blossom. No Scentsy, this is not a bakery. I don't know who they were fooling. There's literally flowers and citruses on the packaging too. So no bakery here, but for what it is, it's really yummy. It's a very fresh, sweet floral. Gives me like sweet pea and vanilla vibes a little bit. Pink apple and nectarine definitely gives me more sweet pea and vanilla. It is coming back and bringing back my bar in June, which I'm very excited about. But this is... It's very sweet floral. Doesn't mean it's bakery by any means. And it's strong. This is the second day. I have it going all day here. I turned off my warmers here at like 11 o'clock last night and I turned them back on when I woke up at like seven. So they, they're not off for long, believe me. But this is good. I don't know if it's in my club or if it'll go in my club. I don't think so. It's just pleasant. It's nice. I like it. There's others that I like in the new releases for the catalog more. And that's it. That's my weekly wicks and wax. That's what I got through almost a half an hour. So still a good bit, don't get me wrong. And I do like to talk and ramble, but let me know what were some of your highlights for the week? Leave them down below. My highlights were at Lakeside Morning and I just got to do aloe water and cucumber. It's so good. I know it's not a new scent. I love it. And I'm hoping in my new space, when I break into that brick of cucumber and cactus water, it's just gonna give me those vibes too because it's beautiful. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you so much. Talk to you later. Bye guys.